In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on November 23rd, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Penn State vs. Minnesota Minnesota is set to make waves as they host number 4 Penn State in a highly anticipated Big Ten showdown on Saturday. The fourth-ranked Nittany Lions, boasting a 9-1 straight-up record and a 5-5 against the spread mark, are coming off an impressive 49-10 victory over Purdue as heavy 30-point favorites. Meanwhile, the Golden Gophers, with a 6-4 straight-up and a solid 7-2-1 against the spread record, had a bye week to regroup following a disappointing 26-19 loss to Rutgers, where they failed to cover as six-and-a-half-point favorites. The last time these two teams met was in 2022, when Penn State defended its home turf with a commanding 45-17 victory, covering as five-point favorites. Since suffering their only loss this season, the Nittany Lions have been playing with a noticeable edge, but this matchup promises to test them in new ways. While Penn State has excelled both on the ground and through the air with quarterback Drew Aller, they face a Minnesota defense that specializes in creating turnovers. This may force the Nittany Lions to adjust their game plan, likely emphasizing their ground attack. Minnesota, which is 2-1 straight up and a perfect 3-0 against the spread against top 25 teams this season, has had an extra week to prepare. This extra time could position the Gophers to challenge Penn State and potentially pull off an upset. For teams in the upper echelon of the college football playoff rankings, the formula is simple, keep winning, and everything else will fall into place. For Penn State, style points won't matter as much as securing victory victories in their remaining games. Recent examples, like Texas struggling against Arkansas and Oregon battling Wisconsin, show that winning on the road in November is a daunting task for even the top programs. Adding intrigue to this matchup is Minnesota's historical success against Penn State at home, with victories in their last two meetings in Minneapolis. This contest could be the final significant obstacle for James Franklin's squad as they eye the postseason. The Gophers have been a reliable team to back in games against Maryland and Illinois, but their stock has dropped slightly following their loss to Rutgers. Under head coach P.J. Fleck, Minnesota has quietly built a solid offense, ranking in the top 40 in success rate and excelling on third and fourth downs. Quarterback Max Brosmer has been a steady hand with 18 total touchdowns against just four interceptions this season. However, the Gophers will face a stiff challenge against a Penn State defense that is among the best in the nation. Coming off their bye, Minnesota is expected to incorporate fresh strategies, especially on critical downs to keep the Nittany Lions off balance. On the other hand, Penn State's offense, led by coordinator Andy Kotnicki, has been firing on all cylinders since their loss to Ohio State. The team ranks in the top 10 nationally in key metrics like success rate and efficiency on early downs and third, fourth downs. Nevertheless, Minnesota's defense, ranked in the top 10 in expected points added per dropback, will test Drew Aller and Penn State's receiving core. The Gophers are also a formidable 22nd in net points per defensive drive, suggesting Testing Penn State may struggle to convert red zone trips into touchdowns. Minnesota's ability to force field goals instead of touchdowns could make them a compelling underdog in this matchup. Given the strengths of both teams, the Minnesota Golden Gophers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. This game features two well-rounded teams with strong offenses and defenses in the Big Ten but defense is expected to take center stage. Minnesota has yet to face a defense as formidable as Penn State's. Their struggles against weaker defensive teams like Rutgers and Iowa, scoring just 14 points against the latter, highlight potential difficulties against the Nittany Lions. While Penn State's offense has been prolific recently, their most recent success came against Purdue, the weakest defense in the conference. Facing Minnesota's stout defensive unit, Penn State may find it challenging to move the ball efficiently through the air, and a ground-heavy approach will likely result in a faster moving clock. The under has hit in 12 combined games between these teams this season, making under the projected total our full game total pick. 
Army versus Notre Dame. The Army Black Knights and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish are set to clash this Saturday in a much anticipated college football showdown at Yankee Stadium. This matchup promises to be an exciting display of gridiron action as the two storied programs meet under the bright lights of a historic venue. For the Black Knights, this contest represents their most formidable challenge of the season, making the additional rest and preparation they've had all the more crucial. Army showcased their signature style in their last outing against North Texas, dominating on the ground with an impressive 293 rushing yards and maintaining a staggering 41 minutes and 37 seconds of possession time. Defensively, they were equally solid, allowing just 283 total yards, including only 69 rushing yards, while conceding 18 first downs and permitting a mere 4 of 1-1 conversions on third downs. Additionally, the Knights forced two interceptions, although their two turnovers during the game highlight an area they must clean up against a team of Notre Dame's caliber. Notre Dame, on the other hand, enters this game following a comprehensive victory against a middling Virginia team last Saturday. Despite some struggles, including nine penalties, two turnovers, and a dismal one-for-one two showing on third downs, the Fighting Irish relied on their opportunistic defense to secure the win. The defense was a game-changer, recording five takeaways and limiting Virginia to 4.4 yards per play. Facing Army's methodical and physical approach will be a significant test for Notre Dame's defense, setting the stage for what should be a gritty and old-fashioned Smashmouth football game. When it comes to talent, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish hold a clear edge and have proven their capabilities throughout the season, boasting an 8-2 record against the spread. While this suggests another dominant performance could be on the horizon, Army's track record cannot be overlooked. The Black Knights have excelled on both offense and defense, passing every challenge they've faced so far. Moreover, they've won their last three games outright as underdogs, showcasing their resilience and capability to compete above expectations. While Army may not have the depth or talent to upset Notre Dame outright, the 14 and a half point spread feels overly generous given the Black Knights' consistent performance this season. The margin of victory may hinge on small details, making the Army Black Knights to cover the spread as underdogs are full game side pick. Statistically, the Army Black Knights excel on the ground, averaging a staggering 334.9 rushing yards per game. On defense, they have been equally impressive, allowing just 10 points and 273.9 yards per contest. Conversely, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish also have a potent ground attack, averaging 216.7 rushing yards per game. Defensively, they allow an average of just 1 points and 277.1 yards per game. Given the defensive strengths of both teams and their tendency to control the pace of play, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Alabama vs. Oklahoma The Alabama Crimson Tide and the Oklahoma Sooners face off this Saturday in an exciting Week 13 college football matchup at Memorial Stadium. This game carries significant implications as both teams look to finish their season strong. The stakes are high, and fans are anticipating an intense battle between two storied programs. The Oklahoma Sooners are just one win away from becoming bowl eligible, a milestone that adds urgency to their performance. Interestingly, the Sooners haven't been this significant of an underdog at home since 1997, a statistic that might come as a surprise to younger fans who weren't even born at the time. This rare situation makes the point spread a compelling aspect of the game to consider. However, the challenge lies in Oklahoma's offense, which seems to lack the firepower to contend with elite teams. Meanwhile, Alabama appears to be hitting its peak form. The Crimson Tide have been dominant in their last three games, boasting a 3-0 record both straight up and against the spread. During this stretch, they've only allowed a total of 20 points with Alabama firing on all cylinders, the task ahead for the Sooners looks daunting. Therefore, the Oklahoma Sooners to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Alabama Crimson Tide have established a strong running game, averaging 192.1 rushing yards per game. Their defensive unit has been equally impressive, holding opponents to just 17 points and 324.7 yards per game on average. On the other side, the Oklahoma Sooners rushing attack is producing 143 points nine yards per contest, and their defense has been solid, conceding 22 points and 319 yards per game. With both teams bringing competitive defenses but also the potential for explosive plays, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.